Welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. But did you check out the last video with the king crab? If you haven't, check it out. Let me tell you, amazing. But this video is just a continuation of that. I did hop back into the kitchen to try the biggest crayfish I've ever, well, I've seen crayfish this big, but I've never seen so many of them. Oh, man. Watch the video. So just the crayfish, so. Oh my god. OMG. OMG. Like, uh, wait. Whoa, whoa. Look what. Are they alive? No. Oh. <laughs> god. Oh my god. Wow. I am I am so surprised because I, I thought it was really mm -hmm. This so you is see, our when you, 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 you have something for yourself and be experience it differently, you get a first and experience it totally different from where you actually are thinking. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's true. Oh my god, these look, these look almost like tiger prawns. <laughs> Watch out. Small crayfish compared to some crayfish we will get. All right. Yeah. So how how much bigger are you used to seeing? Well, back then, um, or even now. I don't know to compare it in size, but they are huge, mm -hmm. huge enough. Probably we double. Um, maybe time and a half. Time and a half. Yeah. Wow. That's 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 big. Jesus. So I saw the guy. He rode up today with them. Mm -hmm. Let him go out and him hunt them. Yeah, he go out at night and him. If you realize, they use a thing called striker, yeah. and then they strike them and then they take them off the striker. Or yeah. get, here's another one with a hole. See it's where they get striked yeah. by there. This one too. There it is. Where they shoot them. Wow. They spear them. So. Is this something that they can come and get like every time or just whenever mm. the guy Whenever the guy goes and on the on them. I got lucky. Yeah. Um but sometimes if the if we have like lot of rain they can't get them because the, the water would be too high and the, the water get dark. Mm -hmm. So because of that they can't hunt them in the dark water because they won't see them then. Okay. Wow. So like now when the water time is dry they most likely they crawl out and look for food at night mm -hmm. so that's the reason why they will get them at night most times Jesus. and you have people who dive for them during the day too mm -hmm. but that more like the real diver but maybe this man he just go and hunt and spear them but you have people who dive for them wow so i finished cleaning clean up there So you yeah. said only you guys used to like catch down there's a river behind but there. Mm-hmm. Wow. So we just used to go and just catch a junk of them. Um get coconut gritty, make run down, put the junk of them in night, and eat it with, with roast bread food as a meal. Would you say that I mean <laughs> now we say that kids are forced, right? Mm -hmm. Nowadays children, that's what we say. Mm -hmm. But you guys were cooking like at a very young age yeah. for me that is more you know like more grown yeah and yeah. we we self used to climb the breadfruit tree got pick the breadfruit for yourself we were safe <laughs> yeah and like everybody like my grandmother used to say i mean i ring leader for everything because uh, i mean i carry them come because everybody used to gather over her yard and I every and they, everything used to happen <laughs> <laughs> So you used to catch the jungle them and so, so like I guess over time that even helps with your cooking skills too. Maybe. And like we used to call we used to like parch them, you know what it is to parch them? To put them in the hot pot, yeah, yeah. And then to let them get that red colour. And to me it come out with a different flavour then. Even when I'm doing regular shrimp at work for for like guests, mm -hmm. I would like saute the shrimp first until they get red. Even I'm even I'm pouring it and then put it in there because it gets a different flavor. I, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so you didn't like a coconut curry today? Yes, it's a coconut curry. Nice. 
So again, the base element, garlic, garlic anti spices, yeah. Yeah, it is. I can tell this is gonna be good. Let's see if you're gonna beat Mr. Everall. I mean, it's two different um, meat kinds, but mm. yeah, let's see how you're going. Not only deal with the crab. <laughs> <laughs> And to me, to me, it it to me it's like effortless. It does do it because I love and fun. It does to me. I don't know if I finger they have the tears or what, but <laughs> I chew, I chew. Like sometimes you know, some people everything then touch and turn gold. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Some people just have that. Yeah. And for me, me just like cook. To be honest. So garlic, escalion. Time. time. I never see you use thyme or this. No, I no. didn't use thyme. But because this one I'm going to do in the coconut mm -hmm. sauce now, so this one I'm going to go down to a different flavor. So I use the thyme in this one. Okay. And I'm still going to use a pimento also. also. Yeah. But I'm not going to mince the garlic as I mince it with the crab also. Oh, why? Because I didn't see I can um, like this. Because with the crayfish now, remember it's not so big in content, so it can soak much easier. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so. All I can say those those crayfish they are beautiful. Usually when mm -hmm. we go out there and go to the crayfish hunting and mm -hmm. stuff, like we might catch like two or three or even a one and yeah. that for us is like wow. Mm -hmm. You know, but I've never seen this many of those in mm -hmm. like just one space. And you said that normally you would feel like a whole tub. Yeah. Like really big. Mm -hmm like five gallon buckets back in the days when we used to clean them we used to have like all five at the, the tubs in a, in the fridge oh that we God. clean up and have their size and people just stay standing there and waiting on the crayfish yes. so it's just like crayfish they want so but then you used to, we used to do it in butter sauce mm -hmm. but now the people like the coconut sauce okay. But if someone requests the butter sauce, they can order it. They can get it in butter sauce also. So I'm going to wash this one. I'm going to make the fire first and put on the water. So you find that when you put in like this amount of coal, it is sufficient for the entire cook? Yeah. Nice. And tell us about the price of coal. I know some persons are haven't been back to Jamaica in a while or just don't know this information. Okay. Like a bag of coal is how so much? So the bag of coal, like this average size bag of coal is like $1,600. It all range because when it's in KCT, in, you will have to pay like $2,000. Um, to coat that in in US, maybe about 10 or 12 US but, dollars mm -hmm. or $15 when in KCT. So that's like the, the cost of coal here in Jamaica. Wow. Yeah. And, yeah. You, and you find that it's a more expensive medium to cook, more expensive than the gas stove, eh? Um, yes, it will. And because the gas is more convenient, because you know, that's just a strike off the, <laughs> the, the, the knob, then you're, you're, but for this you will have to wait a time for it to catch up to start cooking. Yeah. But it, it does work just the same as the gas, but maybe because of the flavor and everything, so you can and in Jamaica, sometimes to buy maybe like a hundred pound cylinder, it would be like fifteen thousand Jamaican dollars. And sometimes you can't find it right there and then. Mm. But with a bag of coal, maybe you can find the money to purchase the bag of right coal. Yeah. yeah. True. Wow. So this much coal is running around sixteen hundred dollars. That's like ten to eleven US dollars. Wow. Definitely comment how much you guys pay for coal in the US. I know in the US you guys have the the instant light you just light it and the charcoal just catch a fire yeah really like that. this is just the real charcoal in its rice form it's not bricked it hasn't been broken down and compressed into anything it's just charcoal okay so you can water hot for the sauce yeah cool all right so walk me through thought process working in a more industrialized kitchen versus more traditional feel it's like this feels like a fusion between some traditional parts and some more modern elements which one do you feel you're more comfortable in to be honest i can be a verse so 
I can work either way. Mm -hmm. I can go down to the smallest level and then I can elevate to the top of the level. So for me, it all varies. So I can put myself in all situations and then work well. Cool. Makes yeah. sense. I don't know. Something about a kitchen like this, it just makes me feel like grandma was here. And if I think about grandma, like... <laughs> make, think, make it work all done. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, yep. Yeah. Gives you an extra star, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. But sometimes, if you're working in a big industrial kitchen, you have to get used to your environment. Yeah. yeah. But from I get used to the environment, it's That's all it. done. Yeah. So, so as the water boil, I put the, the, the seasoning, the, the flavor will just come out right there and then. Mm. Guys, may I live the life? Right behind me, this beautiful young lady here is um scooping out some. What are you scooping out? Rice and peas. Some rice and peas. Smell good, though. Yep. <laughs> yes, smell the coconut milk. Smell the coconut milk, right? Done. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this is the coconut milk. So you can see how it's creamy. Mm-hmm. Going to just pour it in there. Oh, I should get the other one. Oh my. This is going to be good. Smell the coconut. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, That's Mm -hmm. <laughs> One thing with these cold with these cold stoves, you know. You have to can balance the pot <laughs> because at any moment the coal can burn down a little bit yeah, and, and you know tilt and tilt the pot. So that's why you can put it on this like it's a burner. I'm going to show you how it's done. I think it is like on a burner. This is a. Oh, this is a. So that's from, a burner. <laughs> so from coal stove to whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> there, oh, it is. there we go. There we go. Wow. Mm hmm. The coal get rich there. Yeah? I'm going to allow it to boil for a while and you can just add in the crayfish. I think the flavor, the way you want it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to add it. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's also scum. And let it simmer for a while and you add the crayfish. Mm -hmm. Now, so we're going to... Mm. So we're going to just put it in the crayfish. So I heard people calling and asking about the crayfish from early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They make sure they want to get their crayfish. They want to be a part of what's going on here. Trunk your bicycle. So, yeah, you say. Oh, God. Because I'm going to ask you, I'm going fix up time, though. Boy. Mm-hmm. 
No, it's just a judgment, man. Yeah, so you want to bring it down some more? Yeah, so I think I can go down some more. I want to jump with some more fire. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep a stick time, go down on your phone. Mm -hmm. Alright, pretty girl. You can't be shy. <laughs> you can't be shy. Let's go, right. Shanique. So, and they asked me what I wanted with the crayfish, and I said I wanted first of all. So, Shanique is going to be tasked with that today. She's going to make me some festival. <laughs> so we're making some festival. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to be soft and fluffy and nice. Yes. <laughs> Crispy on the outside and very moist on the inside. Okay. So you just add a little bit of this. Not too much. Just a little bit. That's a new one for me. So that's some flowers, regular flour. Uh, regular flour mixed with something. Secret so. stuff. Okay. <laughs> Cannot speak so regular flour mix with something else and a bit of condensed milk. Yeah. Can use other stuff to give it a little. But this is just your style. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be good. Alright. Can need a door tight. Mm -hmm. Some person tend to need it do a little softer when it comes to festival or dumpling. Mm -hmm. But I need it tight. For the festival? Yeah. Any particular reason? Well, that's just me. That's true. Bantan, we can't. <laughs> Bantan is in a chef hat. Oh, yeah, we are there, sir. Now's your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's give them a little roll. Not mm. too thin, not too plumpy. If it didn't too slim, you're not gonna have that fluffiness. Hmm. We are watching you. <laughs> 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 I'm messing mess with you. Alright, so um you might notice that you know when we're in the kitchen we talk and we just vibe and just have like a bit of fun, yeah? Because yeah. food Anybody can uh, make mistakes with food. Yeah. You can just start over if so be the case. So, no pressure. You've been doing this quite a lot, yeah? Yes, I have. So, the condensed milk that you add to it, that's something that you came up with in your own self or you were taught it here? Uh, one of my work colleagues suggested it and okay. we have just been doing it that way and we add other things to it as well. Oh, so, I give it a nice little vibe, yeah? Yes. Nice. So. so you can just stick it down and spin it down. Yes, you can. Hmm? Yes, with white rice, right? Yeah, Alright. As soon as you deliver, they are returns. All right, then first of all, I look kind of sexy. All right. <laughs> They're giving tips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss Stacy came through. Yes, they see came through. Any way you do it is the way I would like it. <laughs> she don't know what to say. She's like, what? I don't know. People, some people like it well brown. I, I can take it medium. So this is sweet planting. This is what me love. Now 
right on the oh, bottom. Oh yes, this is my time. Mm -mm. I'm excited. So very excited. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I want to see if I find another small one. Oh, here's one. So festival and mm -hmm. red Yes, ma'am. And some sexy festival <laughs> and red Thank you. Mm. All right, guys. Excited. So I just got a I think it's a half pound serving of crayfish. Um, I think I said the pound is 3000 so this is um, $1,500 worth of crayfish. I have some sexy festival. Never seen a festival made with um, condensed milk before. So that should be interesting. Um, for those who don't know what festival is, I've heard someone compare it to like a fried bread, like a fried sweet bread, not far off. So it's like flour. So people add a bit of cornmeal, sugar, cinnamon, sometimes um, nutmeg vanilla so it's pretty flavorful it's almost kind of cakey but it's not it's definitely like a fried bread you know bready on the inside crispy on the outside and stuff and i think everybody should know what a fried plantain is it's a sweet fried plantain just the way that we love it here in jamaica so yeah i'm excited to dig in and this is a coconut um like a coconut crayfish yeah let's go all right so i have an idea what the crepe is going to taste like but this festival i am super interested to trying it she says she need the the flour um tightly but it i mean as you guys can see it seems pretty light That's interesting. Hmm. She did her thing. That's something else. Condensed milk. It works. It's not oily. It's just the vast contrast of sweet bread inside, crispy outside, no oil. Amazing. Hmm. No, no, minute, What else do you have? Now, ginger beer? Yeah. Yes. I'm quite surprised with how good those festivals came out, guys. Yeah. Thank you. It, it is, it is good. Oh my gosh, wow. This is, this is still hot. I've been talking for a minute. Mmm. Ooh. Wow, the flavor I got off my finger just now from the sauce is, it's crazy. Look at that. Mm -mm. Mighty. Wow. Oh, yes.
Oh yes. I can't tell you how fresh the, the crayfish is. I, I, I can't tell you when it was caught. I just saw the guy pulling up on his bike this morning, dropping it off. It it wasn't frozen. It seemed like it was like on the fridge. So I can only assume that it was caught last night, put on the fridge, and then brought here this morning because the meat is nice, tender. Um, the way how they did it, not, it's not overpowering your like, hmm. I have to go at this again, like... Oh gosh, guys. Look at that meat. It is, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's really fresh. That meat was like so nice and fat. It's like, it was almost like a very tender breast meat. <laughs> it's almost chicken, it's weird. I can't explain, I like I am tasting the coconut milk, but it tastes like, let me tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like, you know when you're making rice and peas and you you put in the coconut milk and the escalion and the garlic and the thyme and the pimento, but you taste that water to see how well it's seasoned. That's what it tastes like. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's, it's really nice. Let in here, this little head sauce. Or in some countries they call it head butter. That is probably the best head I ever got. <laughs> mm -mm. That was literally head butter just now. I've, I've eaten them before where it tastes a bit bitter, but that one is just creamy. It's like, it's like butter basically, as the name suggests. Mm -mm. Here's a big one. I'm probably messing up their tablecloth, but... <sighs> Ooh, look at that. Guys, I wish I could afford to like buy the whole pound, but I have a lot more places to go to, and I am on a budget. So I just bought the, the King Crab, and now this is what I'm going for. But you know, if you guys want to support the channel, you can always check the links in my description box. You know, there's PayPal, you know, whatever. You know, and I will definitely be able to fill my gut more. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> and of course, I'll tell you guys how the food is. So you guys can come out here and try. Now, this is almost like a baby lobster meat. Rub it into that little milk type of curd that you see. Guys, a dish like this, honestly, you eat with nothing. This requires no sides. It's just a nice finger food. Just buy a pound of crab, two pounds, five pounds, whatever you can afford, and just go at it. I know usually I'll show you guys into the plate, but I'm just, I need to enjoy this. 
I'm not really seeing any head butter in this one, but yeah, <laughs> the head of this one is definitely not as nice as that the other one. <laughs> All right, let me just apologize for the mess, but the the quick verdict is this is just really good. Really, I like. I probably would be satisfied like ordering like two pounds of this, just having a bunch of crayfish and just going at it. Um, like with any seafood, you never want to overpower it and this is not overpowered at all. You're definitely getting a lot of just the rich natural flavor of the crayfish. And of course that nice complement of the, the coconut um, milk. And like I said, I did express how it tastes like. It basically tastes like when you're gonna be making that rice and peas and you have that nice soupy kind of broth with all those herbs and seasoning and flavors and that butteriness that's gonna be absorbed into the rice. That's what it tastes like. Pretty light, pretty good. These festivals here are pretty fun to eat. Like I said, they are very sexy festivals. Nice, cute, petite. Oil is not in this at all as far as I can see not too dense not too light and i don't have to tell you what a plant tastes like amazing all right guys you saw the foods being prepared so i'm sure you can imagine and you can tell for yourself for me it was really good food um yeah i'm gonna be ending the video here but i'm going to still stick around because honestly it's more than just the food food is a big part of it but it's also the people that are here um the people here for me have been super welcoming and it's not just me i can see the interactions with anybody that stops here and comes by it's almost uh know your name first name basis type of thing so i really appreciate that's really cool and yeah i'm just gonna vibe like i've been saying throughout this entire series it's really about the vibe and i'm really happy that i checked on the map and it was very close by to where i was chilling at anyway i'll catch you guys on the next video remember two things love nature and adaptation and always remember to keep the link